All right, I was trying to put my GoPro camera on top of my 35 millimeter so I can take pictures and video at the same time. Uh, I was indoors and I needed the flash to work, but it wouldn't work. It would work when I set it up, but as soon as I put the cold shoe on top, the pop-up flash wouldn't work. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, I was recently at a uh, function and what I wanted to do was use my 35 millimeter camera uh, indoors, so I needed the flash. And I also wanted to put my GoPro, which I'm using right now to record this, but I wanted to put the GoPro on top with this hot shoe mount. Okay, and uh, so I could record video full time and just, you know, photographs when I needed to, which to me was a, a fantastic idea. So. Uh, as you can see right now, right, if I hold it down, the flash comes up and the flash works. But as soon as I put the hot shoe on there, the flash no longer pops up. So in looking at it, I found out that there's these little lands in here, these little contacts, and when they're depressed by the hot shoe, the cold shoe, this piece, moving in, it disengages the pop-up flash. So I had to get rid of that. And I looked everywhere online and I couldn't find it. And that's why I'm doing this video. Hopefully this helps somebody else out. Uh, I found it through another guy who I'll put his link down here. He had the opposite problem. His pop-up flash wasn't working anymore. Uh, and there were four screws under here, which I'll point out later, that he said uh, sometimes come loose and that causes uh, a hot shoe malfunction. So. His problem was my solution. So what I found out is you can take a, I use an X-Acto knife because you have to get under there. It's very tight. Once you lift it up, you take a small jeweler screwdriver and just pull this plate out. So once this plate's out and it can go right back in so you're not damaging the unit at all. I don't know if this metal is gonna short out the contacts on there but when you tighten it up it lifts it up off the contacts and uh, when I use it I'm going to isolate it with a piece of cardboard but um, now I'm going to put the hot shoe back on turn the unit on and that works so it's just this little plate and if you remove it that's your fix I don't know if anybody will ever need this but if you do uh, I hope I saved you some time now, in that other video, if you go to the link that uh, I'm gonna put in the description below, uh, these are the four screws the guy was talking about. And apparently when they come loose, uh, this doesn't make contact anymore and that'll lose the function of your hot shoe. But uh, for our reason, we want that to happen and uh, we'll get rid of it. I'm gonna save it, of course, and put it back normal if I ever stop using it. But for right now, I hope that helps somebody.